why is test drive unlimited solar crown the beta getting so much hate well look i want to talk about a few things in this video uh there's a lot to cover i'm not blaming well i'm blaming the idiots let's just put that out there because people that are just hating on it to hate on it and saying it looks like a ps3 xbox 360 i've heard ps2 game a mobile game like dude stop all right you probably should rip your eyeballs out and just throw them away and never get new ones all right look how i want to want to talk about channels that have no face cam no voice no input um doing comparison videos with the tdu beta versus games that have been out for years that are in finalized states like stop doing that all you're doing is hurting the community and making people like oh look how shitty this game looks blah 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 like they have warnings literally have warnings when you load up the game about it's not the final version and they literally put up a console beta recap but give me a second because i really read that i'm going to give you my thoughts on that okay the graphics and performance in these betas do not represent the final quality of the game this song can't stop me because i can't read now i don't blame the general public you know why because at Nikon has been very bad with communication when we had the pc beta they gave us like this is what you can do these are the cars that you can buy these are the cars that are test drive only these are the races you can do and it gave us everything right but at the same time that was posted on the steam page so if you went to download the game on steam you if you're not dumb and you know you can look at that and see oh this is what i can do in this beta cool sick and then it clearly says that you know work in progress build whatever they put it all out there but to the people that paid for this vip beta there's really nothing besides what comes up on the screen when you load in every time um if you're not in the discord for tdu you didn't see the little two images they put saying this and um I, I can't be mad at the general player thinking, hey, this game launches next month. I technically paid for this beta. I was expecting more, but it's the same thing as the PC beta, maybe with a little bit of adjustments. You know, we'll talk about that though. I just want to talk about a few things, okay? All right. So the channel's doing comparisons when it's not the final build, comparing a double A studio, which this is, to a triple A studio with more money, more employees, more resources, okay? Uh, graphics compared to like even though it's a beta i'm going to compare it to motorfest and show you it's really almost better even though it's an older build we're talking about gameplay and physics should be king over graphics right pedestrians we're going to talk about pedestrians because some of you freaking people oh, the game's dead it's boring it's lifeless there are no pedestrians no pedestrians in motorfest no pedestrians in forza i don't know why you're complaining look anyway let's get into uh point number one i'm not gonna post them i'm not gonna show them um i've seen these a lot even with the pc beta but there's there's bigger channels out there that do these comparison videos they give no input they don't talk they don't do anything but compare the games and honestly all this is doing at the moment is bringing more hate to this game because people see that from these bigger channels They're like oh the game looks like shit or those you know splash effects aren't there or look at like there's no gravel like we've gotten trailers for this game that literally had like particle effects off because it just was an old build that wasn't running properly and look before we get into that let's talk about we were supposed to get like monthly newsletters the the communication for this game has been horrible if you don't follow alex7 on youtube which i highly suggest um, he literally is the sole person feeding us what we want to see. And every time there's a new update or when there's feedback or where there's, there's other things, he pushes back his video. He's like, wait, I don't want to release this yet. Could you guys maybe like fix this or, or look into this? He is solely the glue holding this game together and like the voice of everybody that's excited for this game. And, uh, I just want you to know, Alex, we appreciate that. Okay. Um, but outside of alex there's really no way to get any news so if you're not obsessed with this game and you're not always looking at the discord every day and you're not following alex you don't know what's changed you don't know how the development's going because they just haven't given us to it and i think if this beta if these this console beta recap 
and all the times and and everything that was going on if that was posted like on some kind of bulletin or somehow messaged the people who had the you know bought the game or i mean people couldn't even figure out how to make how to download the beta i had to make a video about it so like the just the way they've handled it is pretty shitty honestly and i can see why people are, are mad people keep saying oh it's a work in progress d d no they're lying that's going to be the state of the game you can look at alex seven's video you can watch the dev interviews you can watch um the content he dropped of like the f40 or the apollo and you can see how much cleaner and crisper the game is how it runs it just it looks better if if you didn't watch his video they've already messed with the physics a lot of people are complaining about the fit i personally i've driven i've played literally almost every racing game ever the physics are great even in the state they are now without this updated physics model which they have done it is confirmed to be in launch um alex seven did make a video about drifting we used to have you would oversteer and then that was it right you couldn't correct the car you couldn't manji back and forth that is fixed they also in this beta have fixed the issue where you would go over the bumps and the car would boing boing it would spray like the the springs the suspension would like be like trampolines that is fixed for this beta the, you know that's in there but the new driving physics not there but it's confirmed so if you don't follow this closely and you're just somebody who pre ordered the game like oh i'm excited you don't know that none of that is is told to you that that information is not there for you unless you obsess over the game and follow a, a certain couple people so i i can't get mad at the people that are kind of like upset about the game all right so also i want to talk look forza horizon looks great okay there's no denying that but you this is a smaller studio double a versus a triple a studio with more money more resources all that stuff of course is going to look good but here's the thing these people complaining that the graphics suck it looks like a ps3 it looks like xbox 360 and and blah 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 you're the same ones that are complaining that forza is boring and dead but it's pretty right so then when a game gives you content the racing is fun the physics are good the race layouts are good there's progression there's competition there's all this stuff off-roading is fun all of that then you're like oh game looks bad game is trash blah 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 we want to look not every game is gonna look fucking 20k all right y'all just the game doesn't look that bad it really doesn't like it sitting here come on it's not that bad it's fine it's not even the final version sure it might change a little bit all right for the people that blah, blah. it looks fine all right now i want to look <laughs> at motorfest i went i played motorfest for almost 900 hours okay now keep in mind this is comparing beta versus motorfest which i ragged on people but i'm not doing strictly a comparison video to like shit on the game this knowing okay i'm gonna put some different things on the screen here like daytime driving on a track versus both the games nighttime i mean you can see motorfest colors are washed um it's kind of some of the road textures in motorfest aren't as good i'll just put that out there um you can see in the distance even motorfest like the pop in of some things like everything in the distance like at least in test drive the trees and stuff look better than all the shit in the distance in motorfest i mean you can go load up motorfest and look right now and be like oh maybe i never paid attention to that maybe test drive really doesn't look that bad um I just think a lot of people are just jumping on it to hate it and like that's the state of the internet and youtube and like every time there's a game that comes out it's just like i mean come on like the sure motorfest has been dead there's been a ton of bugs i mean i'm sure forza had as a problem and people you know defending to you say okay well forza is mainly just a bunch of open desert and you know not a lot of there's no dense environment okay also no pedestrians so sure their graphics might look a little better they have you know i mean tdu drive around it's very dense there's a lot of stuff going on i see a lot of people going why would they release an old build okay just like the pc build every single day they made improvements they did patches they worked on it sure it was a mess all right but I'd rather them do that now versus waiting till launch and then everybody being pissed that the game doesn't run properly. Look, I get it. Online only. 
it's just how it is these days okay it sucks to pay you know for a game and it's online only and the fear of it shutting down it's not what tdu is about the single player experience buying houses i get it okay they've delayed this game a lot and they have some stuff on the war in the works we're waiting for the roadmap supposedly it's good supposedly they're doing big things and the first year of the game is going to be really good give it time let them just the game is in a fine enough state let them put it out let's enjoy the game we'll play it we'll get new content we'll be grinding it'll give us time to grind for money so we can get a house you know it sure it's missing some features great okay but like the online only i get it that's a turnoff for a lot of people it does suck but if they're doing this whole competition thing you know that's one of the ways they can combat cheaters i see people complaining about how to make a mine account account is that really a big deal to make an email and password everything these days can gets that and i get it. people are like oh they're just fishing for your information it's probably also another way they can track your account in game if you're cheating they have to they have your in-game stuff whether it's on playstation xbox pc and then they have your account so they can do more with that and they're trying to be very proactive about cheaters so keep that in mind okay if if they don't police any of this stuff and they just let you in the game and people start cheating then everybody's gonna complain well i can't get solar king or queen because these people are cheating it's not fair there's cheaters i mean look at motorfest all the time cheater 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 cheaters meta cheater da, da, da. it comes down to like look get better at the game a lot of these people are bitching about cheaters and motorfest all the time I can easily get platinum on any summit. I thought like even without part sets, I can get 1,000 to 2,000 first run. No problem. It's not a cheater. It's a skill issue. Just get better at the game. Like that's all it is, man. That's all it is. Okay. So look, anyway, these are to test the servers. These are to test load, login. I mean, yesterday morning when we played the beta, we took, I think an hour and a half to get past the login screen and then another 30 minutes to get past the character creation screen and then we we're fine the pc beta the races wouldn't load we had login issues you couldn't do races at all like nothing no instant challenges it was like stuttery frame drops granted i was a little under minimum specs but it still ran okay console beta has been smooth sure there's some artifacts in the sky and there's a little bit of weird graphical stuff going on here and there but they confirmed hey shut up this is a certain build it's only running 30 fps which isn't that big of a deal you know what i mean like i get it we're in 2024 we should be getting 60 frames per second okay i get that there's originally they did say 4k 30 or 2k 60 now it's 1440 30 and 1080 60. are you really gonna notice it no I will do a comparison video when it comes out of both modes. But like, I've been driving around this beta. I played it for 11 and a half hours yesterday. Don't even notice the 30 frames per second. It's smooth. It looks fine. There's no stutters. Um, I got in it. I never failed a race. I never like went to do a race and got failed like the, the PC beta. Um, we did have issues with instant challenges, but I think it was just because we were trying to do the, the out of bounds glitch. And then later last night when we tried instant challenges, they all worked fine. So like the console version already has been miles better than the PC beta we got back in June. And but console players don't know that and they just see this as an old version. What's wrong with it? Blah, blah, blah. Um, but I mean, they're doing this to iron out the kinks. So the launch is smooth. I'd rather them. I mean, within, I think, three hours of the beta going live, they were like, we identified what was wrong with the servers, why people can't log in. They updated it. Literally took them like seven minutes. There was a queue, got in for the rest of the day. I had no, I could log out, log back in. No problem. Multiple times. No issues. They fixed it that fast. Wouldn't you rather them do it now? Hence the beta test instead of just dropping it on early access on the fifth and then be like oh sorry we got to fix this real quick no like just let them fix the game let them smooth everything out get the kinks out and we'll have a better experience at launch like too many people are like this game's gonna flop this game's bad blah 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 i want to refund blah 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 like why are you complaining be happy we have a different racing game in the genre to combat sure it doesn't have houses it, it has we don't know what's going on with the casino but like the core gameplay is there it's there it feels good it's fun to drive 
I have a blast driving around with other people. I have a blast driving around off-road. I have a blast. Just frick, I'm blasting here. If you can't notice, that word is just coming out of my mouth like crazy. But, like, it's fun. Like, at one point, like, I grew up playing the NES up, okay? I'd rather a fun game with shit graphics over a pretty game that there's nothing to do in. And that's what all these Forza dick riders are just that's what they want that's what they expect but look these gra like these graphics aren't that bad like comparing to ps3 games like all these movies a ps3 game ps3 game blah, 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 it's a ps3 game when you look at a ps3 game and you look at this game not even close it's crazy that that's what they're going to but it's the internet like people whine people complain nobody can like sure there's people and like if you defend a game or like, oh, I, I've had fun with this game. Look, I'm not even on the content creator list in the official Discord. I didn't talk enough in the server. Yet there's plenty of people that have way less subs than me that are in the content creator section and have the tag. I don't have it yet. So I'm not a shill. I'm not being paid by the company. I just genuinely enjoy this new racing game because I think it has potential. And from what I've played, I've had fun. All right, so let's just throw that out there. I'm not shilling for the company. Because, like, if you, in this day and age, if you like something, oh, you're paid, you're a shill, blah, 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 you're working with the company, screw that guy. No. The general public just bitches and moans and whines too much. Be happy you're getting something new in this day and age when the economy's shit and everything's going to hell, okay? Play it. Enjoy it. The base version of this game is cheaper than every, any other title right now. Stop it. Get some help. Look. Anyway, I'm just going to keep ranting. We talked about the not really having communication. I think they should communicate a little bit more about this VIP beta. So I think I already touched on it, but people are asking for refunds. And a lot of people are saying the physics are trash, blah, blah, blah. The braking's horrible. I think, if I remember correctly, when you load into the game, the assist, like, everything's off. ABS, 0%. Track control, 0%. And I... It's crazy that you play a racing game and you don't check ABS, traction control, steering input, throttle input. You just get in and drive. It's not quite an arcade. It's kind of like a simcade, all right? But, yeah, if, if you log into the game, I'm pretty sure ABS is set to zero. And you go to brake, your brakes lock up. And people are like, oh, the braking's horrible in this game. Did you turn ABS on? Well, no. Turn ABS on, idiot. Ta-da! Okay, you might get a little less of a race bonus from your assist, but guess what? Now you can stop properly, and like people just don't look. I mean, hell, I put up the beta time. Um, what was it? Monday night, and I was like, literally in the first 15 seconds of the video, I'm like, hey, go to Google, type in eight o'clock UTC two, type in your time zone, and Google will tell you what time the beta releases. I had so many freaking comments of people going what time is it in the uk what time in europe what's the time for the east coast what's the time i can't help you let me google that for you do we still have that link can we still do that like the people that are complaining are the people that can't do anything for themselves you can't be bothered to type something into google and take two seconds to figure information out i had a comment earlier on a video what game is this i can't figure it out the game title is tagged. The game is tagged in the video. The game name is in the title. It's in the description. It's on the thumbnail. And in the first second of the video, hey, welcome back to such and such game. And they're still like, I don't understand. How do you do this? I, Some people can't be helped, man. And it's, it's just the internet. And I think these people complaining are just dipshits. And they, they're just... They just want to be on the train of it's cool to hate on stuff. And, you know, I don't I don't know what's going on. All right, look, I'm ranting. But you know what? Eh. Talking about the physics, right? Let's go back. I got off topic, okay? The physics are one of the best I've ever felt. And this isn't even an updated model of uh, the Alex 7 showed off that looks way better. Like, this game feels great. It's so fun to drive around. Take five minutes and learn it. It's not hard, man. I know some of you can't read analog clocks in this day and age, which is wild to me, but just, it feels good. I don't know what you want. Do you want it to feel like old school need for speed and, and, and shitty? I mean, I don't even know. It feels great. It's fun to drive. It's a good mix. It doesn't feel like, like it's, it's a good mix between, it just feels good. I don't know. It's just a skill issue. Like I hate saying that word, but look, it's a skill issue if you think 
Dude, the physics suck in this game. That's all it is. Look, if you don't follow, you know, Alex or the Discord or Reddit's a cesspool. I, I looked at that yesterday and I was like, holy shit, everybody's complaining. I'm out of here. But uh, I mean, look right now. Look at this transition to nighttime. Look how good that looks. They're listening. They did a feedback for the last beta. Um, Alex has gone and sat down with the devs and gave them literally typed up a whole fucking PowerPoint and all this shit and was like, here's what people want. They've already listened and tweaked the physics. They've they're listening to to everything that we want and um, they're taking polls and and unlike these big companies that literally are there to hey here's this game. We don't care what you want. Here's a bunch of microtransactions. Give us your money. Those games are online. Look at Crew Motorfest online only. They shut down the crew. People are still playing that. People are still buying the vanities. People are still supporting that game. They're listening. They want this game to be good and they want to make the community happy. And if it takes a little bit of time to get certain features in the game, so what? They're working with a, a double A, okay? They're not triple A. I also want to talk about pedestrians. So many people, this game's dead. It's lifeless. There's nothing to do. There's no pedestrians. You're going to be driving at end game 200 plus mile an hour. You're not going to notice a pedestrian sitting outside of a cafe drinking a freaking Starbucks latte. It's not even going to be a thought. You zoom, you fly by. You're not even going to notice them. They, they, and let's put this out there. I went around because they did add some pedestrians that weren't there in the PC beta. They sit in some of the off-road sections. Um, they're outside of the streets headquarters now. There's, there's little areas that they have pockets of pedestrians sitting around. Look, I get it. It takes up resource. I'd rather not have the pedestrians. But here's the thing. Everybody bitching are the same people that are dick riding Motorfest and Forza. There's no pedestrians. So why all of a sudden is it a problem in test drive? It could be a licensing thing. It could be, I mean, look how crazy Ferrari is. You've got a lot of top super hyper cars in this game, brands that they work with. They could be like, we don't want pedestrians in the game because we don't want one of our cars to hit a pedestrian and simulate killing them. You know, that could be a thing. I mean, Ferrari, look at them. They don't want customization. They literally send cease and desist to people that customize their cars IRL. Like, you don't know what's going on. You're just like, hey, I'm an idiot. 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 Shut up. That's all I got to say about it. You know what I mean? Sure. There's scattered pedestrians here and there. Sick. Awesome. You don't need pedestrians. Other games don't have them. You're not bitching about it in other games. So stop bitching about it on this game. That's all I got to say. Okay. All right. My last part. I took notes just so I could fucking try not to rant. But look, um, a lot of people are saying this is dead on arrival. It's going to flop. Like, shut up. Shut your mouth. All right. I get it. You don't understand that this is a beta and that this is an old thing people are like oh well they did that with wrc i didn't play wrc i didn't play the beta i haven't played the game i haven't played a wrc game in a while last rally game i played was dirt rally 2.0 i don't know but if you were bamboozled and that was the final product and they said they didn't okay valid understood but from what i've seen sure this might be pretty close to the final product but they've already in the in the discord they literally listed these are known bugs and some most of these bugs are fixed in the current build of the game but you're not playing that boom okay perfect Sweet. thanks for telling me but the general public doesn't see that when they get on the console and play so that's that's an issue you know what i mean but i mean like i said it's the people that are complaining forza is boring but it looks pretty Crew is dead. GTA 6 sucks because there's a female protagonist. I don't want to play as a, a, a lady. Like, it's, it's, these are the people that are complaining. You know what I mean? And it's like, no matter what the devs do, these people will always complain. And the mass majority of these people complaining always outshine the people who, like, this game has so much potential to be a great racing game. Give it a shot. Try it out. Like, I saw a lot of people also go, oh, the, the, the beginning intro. We got new cutscenes. We got a whole, like, new intro thing. A little, like, island and, like, a helicopter pad. And it, like, looked like a crazy futuristic, like, drone that you get in. And, like, I was like, this is fucking cool. Awesome. Sick. It's different. Um, a lot of people are like, I'm tired of the festival stuff that Fours and the crew do. I don't want to see festival stuff anymore. And they're like, look, it's festival stuff. It is legit a competition between, between the streets and the sharps. Every three months, it rotates, and there's a competition, and you can win, and then it starts over again. 
of course they're gonna have something in it but it's not a festival it's not like here we're in hong kong island with the hong dong ding dong uh festival look at all these people in the cars racing around there's the like cars ripping around. it's not a festival atmosphere and i mean look the race layouts are great none of the races feel like repetitive they got different race modes they've got restricted they've already talked about delivery modes. there's so much going on in this game that you don't know about and this is a very early build from a year ago and it has potential trust me you're gonna see some news this week and if not at gamescom you're gonna see news and you're gonna be like holy shit let me change my freaking depends all right but look it's just one of those things where it's like no matter what devs do in this day and age people are going to complain literally the devs will listen to the player base and then they do it and then the player base complains well it's like you literally ask for that and if they don't do it they complain it's it's a whole thing i mean look at cyberpunk look at all the people praising cyberpunk now years after launch because it's finally a good game i mean look at need for speed on bound it was so shit at launch. There was like no nighttime, no cops. The multiplayer was a separate thing. And then all of a sudden they're doing this year one Kaizen thing a year and a half after launch. And they're finally adding things that should have been in the game at launch. And people are like, oh my God, the game's so great now. You gotta like, cool. It's great that they added stuff. But at the same time, a big company like that should have been at launch. I mean, look at the, the mobile Chinese version. You can literally get out of the car and walk around. And it has like more kits than than unbound like literally the mobile game they dropped in china has more content than unbound and there it's guess what microtransactions out the ass and it's just like shitty business practices like that you already know if you paid attention that nakan and kt are like sure there'll be microtransactions i'm sure to buy things maybe but there's going to be no way to get a microtransaction for cash in the game and they want to stay away from as many as they can because they don't want to just like make it a cash grab and like you should respect that coming from a developer like these other racing games that they just here give me your money give me your money you know or we'll drop one little 30 minute playlist and uh a couple cars here give us 20 dollars. bye see you next month you know but i don't know i feel like i'm just rambling at this point but i mean this game shouldn't be getting that much hate it doesn't look that bad it's fun to play um i just you know i just want to just want to make a video about it because it's just it's crazy what the internet has become and all the youtube comments and how crazy it is and and it's just like i get it and i also don't get it you know what i mean anyway boys you know the drill subscribe come back till the next video